This one does not open from this end, but the other one has a lever. All right. Friends! Oh, hello, purple. That's a new one. Oh, no. I think we found a boss fight. Did the door just slam behind us? I believe it did. Good thing I quick saved. Yes, it did. Can't be good. Whoa, did you see that? What's there now? It looks like a sleeping undead dragon. Yeah, great. Exactly what kind of, Exactly the kind of stuff we've been missing so far. Not an escape prisoner, so that that's for sure. Okay, boss, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this, but if you don't want to know them, just end the conversation now. What? <laughs> the fact that they keep saying that's weird. Alright, so when I was a kid, I heard a story about an undead dragon, just like this one. I don't remember much, but I think it has several devastating attacks, including one it does only when you're out of its reach. So I'd advise you'd always uh, keep close to them, ex except during special cases. Lastly, if I think we should check these strange looking fields first. Don't wake up the dragon right away by walking near it. So, uh, so we have time to understand what's going on in this room. Okay, let's check everything before we get dirty. Alright, that door is closed behind us. We have some mystical portals, I'm sure. Purple! It's making me... Shadow protection. Protects all... Oh, protects from all shadow-based damages by 75%. Is he going to start AOEing the entire room? I assume this is going to be like nature resistance. Yep. Alright, there's two fields in this room that I'm going to run into. Apparently, if I think he's doing specific attacks that might be devastating, I run to those two portals to go hide in them. Okay. So right now, shadow's on my left, nature's on my right. This guy is going to make a big mess of my internal organs. Oops, I just used that attack for zero reason, and now I've got to wait for its cooldown to wear down. Do 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 do. Because if I don't wait for its cooldown, then uh, we're not going to be able to do that attack properly. Start stacking heals. YOLO swag! You have 5,991 hit points and no specific res resistances listed so far. We're going to avoid kicking the rip attack, because I assume he's going to have something cooler at some point. Let's get that get that aggro going at first. So biting attacks, which I'm parrying apparently. Someone unexpectedly. What does yellow mean? Sometimes we have yellow. Oh, call of darkness. Do 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 do. There we go. Pretty sure I understand what that thing does. It's it's a darkness attack. Ow! Lethal fireball. Ow, dick. Oh shit. That was a really lethal fireball, as it turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and load that quick save. All right. Hey, buddy, we're back. All right. Start stacking those heals again. Get a few dreadful jabs in. All right, so lethal, fire, lethal fireball's bit bad. I was rushing into the middle because I didn't want him to move, which was a mistake. I didn't want him to move. But, uh, obviously it's a good idea to take him out. Here we go. Let's see, lethal fireball, here it comes. Pew! There we go. Pew! Oh. Ow! That was wrong timing. Pew! Pew! Is he gonna keep doing that? Oh, it's his long range attack, right. Pew! Oh, I'm dead. Alright, well. Right, that's the attack they mentioned about how he uh, only does it when you're far away. So I need to run, I need to dodge probably one of them, then run up to him and kick the next one. And that'll put me back in normal combat, probably. This appears to be where the gimmicks begin in earnest. All right. The good news is while he's charging up that one attack, I can just wail on him for a while, because it's not, it doesn't take too long to get over there. It's kind of playing chicken. You got to be careful you don't overdo it. But uh, overall, yeah, I can kind of attack him for a little while right now. Alright, let's get over there. Alright, quickly dodge. Pew! Oh god. Alright. Stop it. There we go. I kicked it. So hopefully kick will replenish itself frequently enough for that to not be too much of a problem. Uh... At the moment we haven't taken damage because of all that downtime, so I'm gonna... 
maybe let some damage happen first before I try healing him again. Acid Fury. Alright. That's clear enough. Get a few spells in here while he's vulnerable. Get an Execute off if I can. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. I may have timed that one incorrectly. You know? It happened. Kick. There we go. Yeah, I, I, that was, a uh, How not to play the correct amount of chicken. <laughs> I blinked slightly, but we... Should be able to salvage this one. I just heal around a little bit. We are taking the damage over time, but we also have the nature protection, so... I think we'll do okay overall. Keep that... Keep the aggro going. He's durable. Goddamn. I get the feeling that this is the whole fight, though, so I think... If I keep this going, we're pretty much set. Gotta throw a few heals around because some people are not doing great. There we go. Let's try not to over-aggro with the mage. You gotta be careful with her. Oh, there. That's her getting attention right when I was saying that. Please aggro back. There we go. That was almost bad. Alright, he's still t he's still focused on my tank. The tank's healing all right. Gonna want to focus on him a little bit more too, though. The good thing about his da his uh, the downtime that's built into the boss is that it gives me an opportunity to heal the whole party a little bit more thoroughly. All right, so now now the full heal is gonna go off, so I can go ahead and throw some heals around and stagger them during his downtime. Maybe throw some crazy spells around too. Let's see. Try to do another execute here. Let's do a rend, followed by those. Try to st just start stacking damage if I can. He dodged something, unfortunately. Alright, let's go. How are we doing on heals right now? She's got a heal on her. Took some damage over there. That character's not doing great. Oh, you're still planning on healing them is why. Um, Heal the tank next. You know what? Let's do... Let's do an instant heal on her, because she's a little too low. But I need to start healing the tank too, or we're gonna get in trouble. Alright. Phew! Hey, buddy. No! Oh! Almost missed my chance. Really gotta pause in that situation. I should not have let myself stay in non-pause mode. He is targeting my freaking mage again. Stop that! There we go. That'll divert his attention for the moment. We're doing okay on mana at the moment. I do need to get those heals up on my tank, though. Oh, he's doing it again. You could just stop doing that. That'd be swell. You need to go on defense, apparently. It's becoming a problem. Get off of her. There we go. All right, he's back on the tank again. Cool. Um, There's currently heals on this guy. Let's throw the next heal instead at our... Not so durable mage. Who's gonna cast a few spells now? Everyone everyone's gonna attack now, because he's in his downtime at the moment. Instant attack. Keep stacking those up. Oh shit. Was I not was I not I, I might have not been doing thunderclaps, I might have lost track of that a little bit. Oh, let's do a bleed though, really quick. While we have the moment to do so. Alright, quickly. Hey, guy. Yep. And kick. I'm back in your face again. Hey, buddy. Would you like to focus on me, Mr. Tanky? Um, keep stacking those attacks. So now everyone's taking damage again, which is bad for us. So heal over time on the tank. Cast over here. Oh, probably not here yet. Maybe the mage first. Then heal yourself. Gotta start stagging, staggering some heals around so the party doesn't go down. The, the uh, nature seems to be worse than the shadow because the damage over time is kind of hazardous. Oh, you're, ta you're targeting my rogue now? Alright. Let's have her back off now. Good. Right. We're good. 
Yep, get off of her. Don't want that happening. Instant attack. I should not have done that. I just sent her back into... No, it's just fine. She's probably good now. Also, I should have just taunted that. I don't know why I didn't just taunt that. I don't know why I insisted... I, I'm pretty sure taunt was up. I don't know why I insisted on doing the slow... Th of the slow result. Alright, uh... Heal the tank. Throw a heal at the rogue real quick. Then put the next stack on the tank. I can probably get away with throwing a quick spell in here. Does he have any resistances? Nothing listed. He is undead. Let's see... Hold off on a little bit for doing Dreadful Jab, jab again, because you did have a threat problem a moment ago. Here we go. We're hanging in there at the moment. I'm going to start doing attacks again. Alright, everyone make a big old mess now, because he's being vulnerable and stuff. Uh, do a bleed, followed by those attacks. Um, who needs the heals most next? You're healing over time, you're healing over time, but you take the most damage, so I should keep stacking those. I have to be careful about mana, though. Well, I do have potions. That's, this is what they're for. Alright. Bleed applied. Let's go. Come at me, bro. Chia! Freeze. Kick. There we go. We're safe. For the moment. And our most damaged characters are, are both healing, so we're in a decent spot right now. Cancel that spell. Try to avoid aggroing too much right now. He is, he is more than half dead. We're doing this right so far. Alright. Stack up those uh, aggro spells. Okay, he's still focused on the right character. Good. Gotta keep an eye on that. Oh, uh, you're refocusing on the mage? Really? She's not even casting a spell right now. Just the auto attacks enough, apparently. Well, I taunted. Oh, no. Um, that's not good. At all. And I don't have that AoE taunt that I had before. Alright, that's bad. We do not want him wiping out my... Let's do health vial on... The, the uh... There we go. I can dodge some lethal fireballs. There we go. <laughs> I ran away and started a lethal fireball situation. Just to avoid... <laughs> just so I could avoid him killing my, uh... My, uh, healer. Because he was targeting him. He still is targeting him. Rather adamantly. Not a fan of that. Let's tell you to stop attacking specifically. Because it's becoming a problem. Um... For the most part, we're pretty much good to go. Everyone's pretty healed at the moment, too. I should be applying some heals, though. Or we're gonna be- or we're gonna get in trouble if they're not already applied. Let's spread those around a little bit, while I wait for this to happen. Hey, buddy. Chew! Got it. And kick. Alright. So we're good to go again, and he's focused on the healer on the tank correctly. Good to know. Start stacking those attacks again. She's healing over time. He is healing over time. His other heal over time is inactive, so let's choose that one next. Actually, that the other cool the other cooldowns up though, so we'll do that one first. Um, just trying not to fuck this up, so I'm being careful here. Take some damage, buddy. Just take some sweet, sweet damage in the face, and I'll throw an ice bolt in there for good measure. Throw a healing potion on her. I just can't slowly heal everyone one by one all the time. So we'll have to use some of those potions they've been practically drowning me with. Anyone dying right now? Uh, he's targeting my rogue. Oh, I missed. That's not good news. Alright, cool. He started doing this though, so that gives me a chance to re-grab the aggro with some nice thunderclaps. Apparently I stopped doing those again. That's bad. I need to get up, stay on top of that. Throw a couple spells out there. I think the whole party can attack him at this point. Oh, that, that also cleared my spells. Gotta be careful there. Give myself a heal over time as the healer. So that uses 20 mana. He's down to 50. That's not good. He's, yeah, this guy's not dead enough yet. I'm gonna have to use a, a mana potion. Or we're gonna run out. Everyone do your worst. Yay! Now back to the darkness. Alright, we're doing good. In fact, we're doing good enough at this point that... Can I, are you allowed to save right now? Yeah, let's save you a new slot. 
Undead dragon. I figure if we uh, find ourselves abruptly dying, uh, at least I don't have to do the entire fight again, because it is pretty long. Hey, buddy. Yep. Pause. Kick. We're good. Cancel your attacks. Let's focus on thunderclaps a little bit, because we have some troubles maintaining the aggro. Start healing people up. Our tank's nice and healthy right now. Oh god, he targeted my freaking mage. Sometimes the auto attack is enough, huh? Alright. You guys just hold off for a moment. Let our warrior get aggro. Apparently he's bad at it. Alright, so... Heal over time on both those characters. Doing good there. So let's start stacking them on our tank again. Good to go. And our tank ho hopefully has enough aggro now for us to operate as a group. So everyone get back in there. Can't be idle forever. Acid Fury is incoming. Alright, so... You do your bleed, just for the sake of doing different attacks. You do a few spells. Keep that damage coming while, while he's vulnerable. No! Oh. I may have not made it in time. Hey, buddy. Shoomp. Alright. Oh, cool. I got him in position in time, so he didn't actually... He apparently didn't feel the need to, uh... Fireball again. Good. Um... Keep that aggro going as best we can. Get the alternate heal on him to keep up with the damage. Throw a one heal over on her. Alright, he's maintaining aggro at the moment. Which is good. He is taking damage though. Instant heal won't be ready for 16 more seconds. I, oh yeah, I'm sure. Oh yeah, I definitely can make it. We just got the, the big... The big heal just went off. Throw a quick ice bolt. In there. Try to conserve a little bit of mana, which I can do by kind of just staring at the aggro to see if he's aggroing in the wrong... Okay, now we're good to go for damage spikes. Um, throw in the attack spell for a moment there. How's everyone feeling at the moment? you got to bleed, unfortunately. Alright. You should just heal yourself. Which way should I go? That's 36 plus 28, 72. But it takes a long time. Ah, about as long. Okay, let's just do a regrowth on yourself. Spread that magic around a bit. Give one of them to the... Give the other ones to the other... The, uh... Rogue up front. We're getting really close. We pretty much got this. You spew your attacks. Your sweet, sweet attacks. Alright, we're pretty much good to go. Cancel your attacks, because I don't want you to be starting start the next fight with them. Alright. My instant heal's back, which is also good news. Phew! Oh, I got hit in the face. I got hit in the face by that one. Alright. Instant heal needs to happen right now. Because I blew it. Way to go, me. So proud. Never been more proud, in fact. Uh, please, uh... Oh, Jesus. Uh, is he... Yeah, let's do a potion. Fuck it. <laughs> I blew it. Got Finally got hit by one of those spells again. And we need to start stacking these heals on my tank before it goes down. You guys... Stop attacking. This would be a very bad time for you to gain his attention. Because we're so close to beating him. I just need to not lose aggro. And also not lose, it, also not lose his life if I can avoid it. Ah! Uh, I think this is time for a last stand. There we go. Twi that gives him up, goes, takes him up to 200. Oh shit, he's aggroed on my healer. Stop that. There we go. Aggro redirected successfully. Desperately need that heal to happen though. Uh, start stacking these up again. Oh, not enough mana. Uh, your potions cooldown is up though. So keep that going for a bit longer. Tell you to not attack anymore by the way. It's just you alone for a moment. Alright. Does it do, do I think he has enough aggro yet? Probably. Let's auto attack with the rogue. Bring the other damage dealers in. Hopefully we'd please don't go th Ooh, here's our chance for a damage spike. Uh fire. 
Everyone can attack him as a group right now. It's while he's vulnerable. Uh, got a lot of heals coming his way, but they're gonna go away the moment that thing procs off, so we gotta be careful here. Let's do a two- we have two stacks of that coming up. We want them to go off, because we want that heal to come. Let's do an instant- we'll do a straight heal also. And then we'll target... ...you with a heal over time, to help recover. Actually, no. Target yourself with a heal over time. And then... ...cast something over here. I think the procs will keep us going. Uh, throw in a damage over time. Come on. Come on. Alright, we are pretty much got to go now. So cancel any spells she didn't get off in time. Because this is going to be it. Quickly. I got it. Alright, cool. Buddy. Hey, kick. Figured I might as well do that thing where I try to bait it out for a while. Do not attack my healer. Thank you. Alright. Stack those... Aggro grabbers. Everyone else does auto attack for a while. While well, I try not to die. 300 hit points. That's so close. He's at like 5 per That's what? 5% hit points? Start doing some- No, let's not do attacks yet. We need to be patient. Let some thunderclap happen. Or we're gonna be in trouble. Um... Your next heal's going over there. Let's see. His proc already went off. Oh yeah, his heal- His- His- His, uh, increased cap of health is down. Let's do, do a straight heal to recover. She's a little behind. There we go. 44 hit points right there. Now I'm low on mana. Also bad news. Um, our mage is about to go down. Not great news. Throw a quick heal over time on her. We're going to start running out of mana here. Yeah, fuck it. Everyone damage spike. YOLO swag attack. Flam. Pew, 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 pew. Bleed attacks everywhere. Got him. Take that, buddy. Take that. And heal up our tank a bit. Quick save the shit out of that. Yes! Boss down. Only took two tries, too. I I think two tries. I I had one attempt where I had an earnest attempt and it went for a little while, but then I went down. Um I'm gonna let those heal over times go on for a while. Um, rare. Quality, 3 awareness, 2 willpower, 18 armor rating, it is cloth. Huh. It might be good for this character. Should gain awareness, willpower, and armor, but lose crit chance. It's a bit of a toss-up, honestly. Huh. I think I'm gonna give it to her, but it's a little unclear. A little bit up in the air. Might have been more of a side grade, honestly. Alright, how's the healing going? Oh! Also, this character leveled up. She's got her next tier unlocked if she wants it. I can increase Toxic Knife again, which give her more crit on Swift Knife, or I can look investigate other moves. Five points in the tree will give her this. Looks like that'll be... that's next, right? Yeah. That'll be Mug. Attack with both your weapons. Your main uh, hand attack does the current target 11 hit points while your offhand attack damages a nearby enemy. So it's attack two enemies at once. Grants two streak points. That's a big deal. It'll give her more streak points. Uh, letting her do more finishers. And it has a cooldown so she can't spam it like the other one. Because the normal attack has a cooldown of... 4.8 seconds, this one's 12. The new things I have access to, Dagger Specialist. Increase all damage done by daggers by 10%, and the damage of Swift Knight by 15%. Wow. So, if we got enough modifiers on this thing, suddenly it'll, it'll make more sense how weak it is. Unstoppable, your critical hits... The critical hits of your abilities that add streak points have a 50% chance to give you one additional streak point. And it's a two-point skill, so it presumably would give you even more. Uh, trauma Traumatologist. Increased melee critical damage bonus by 25%. Oh, wow. These are all good skills. I think I'm gonna go for the melee crit damage bonus, though. Just give her higher and higher crits. Unless I have to worry about... I guess the main concern would be, is that going to make me even easier to get, to get attacked all the time? 
Let's see. Oh wow, lowers the threat of uh, sleeping blow and deep cut by 95%. If I had either of those skills, they would not have aggro. <laughs> but I don't have those skills. I think I'm going to go to the trauma skill. Seems worthwhile. I think I can just click on this. Oh yeah, you have uh, every four levels you get a reroll point. So I don't have them all the time, but I have them. So if I do feel like I ruined my character, I can always fix it. But I think a crit bonus is worthwhile. And now I've got this skill, Mug. Alright, this room I think is empty otherwise. Just had a big nasty boss fight in it, and maybe nothing else. Huh. That was a rough fight. Uh, Still have nine of each potion type though, so it's not too bad. Alright, and then these things have a short cooldown, so you can't abuse them by taking them with you in the long run. Oh, now this door's open, so I guess it was mandatory. Because this door was, uh, was would not open until I did the fight. Hey guys, how you doing? I hate to break it to you, but I'm not entirely, uh... I'm not super intimidated at the moment, because I, I just fought an undead dragon. I don't think you guys can quite keep up with that, uh... That, that, that the fear that that brought. <laughs> I think that, that that was just a bigger threat than you're ever going to be, and you, you're just never going to amount to much in life. I apologize. Bye. Ooh. Someone else leveled up. Or boar. So your new options are... Let's see. I can give you Acute Persistence. Allows each heal over time spell uh, abilities tick to have a critical chance. Oh, wow. So every individual tick of the heal over time can crit. That's a pretty big deal. And after that I would get clear state. Uh, increase crit chance of all healing effects by 2%. Wow. Start stacking up the heal crits all over the place. This one is Eternal Bloom. Life Bloom rewards 35% of its mana cost when ending. Up to 3 stacks. Oh. Interesting. That, that would make Life Bloom a super mana efficient spell. Especially since this thing would stack, which means that I can put another point into it to then... If I put another point into it, it would then reward back 70% 70, 70 of my mana cost. So that means... Wow. That would make Life Bloom, which I'm already using, a super mana efficient spell, reducing the chance of running out of magic, running out of mana like I was doing in that fight. On the other hand, though, we do have mana potions, whereas... Having the ability to have uh, each tick crit is a better way of keeping the tank alive in general. I don't know if I'll go straight into clear state, but I think I'm going to grab acute persistence right away. And then I might go for eternal bloom and come back to clear state at some point later. But I think making each individual tick possible to crit is going to be a big deal. And this one's just the awareness stat, because yeah, the first tier of points for that character didn't seem super handy. Alright, back to fighting these drag these, uh, dragons. These, uh, spiders that I wasn't super keen on paying a ton of attention to, obviously. Alright. Make a mess. In this kind of fight, I, I hardly care if I lose immediate aggro- if I lose aggro on him and they start wandering around attacking everyone. Because they're just not as scary. Hello? It's those potions I was using. So, what we just learned there is that apparently, after you do a fight, all items get highlighted as if they're loot. Because that was not spider loot, but it got the post-fight highlight. So apparently they implemented that as some- oh. That's also shiny. Why is that also shiny? So they just- they gave us both scrolls at once? That seems weird. Oh, we're pretty far- oh, that's the next floor, isn't it? Is this the... Did I just get the next floor already? Oh yeah. This is, the, this is floor five. Whoa, it looks like we reached the palace. What's that? It was built to host the emperor and some of its curry, uh, courtiers when he wanted to come to personally interrogate some prisoners or just enjoy seeing them in their misery. It has never actually been inhabited. They recruited soldiers and personnel though. But that ended badly. Taken in the necromancer's spells, dooming this dungeon, they came to haunt it as well. We might cross their path soon. Then let's get prepared for them. 
All right. So this is the next floor. Very cool visual, by the way. Although I gotta say, the new... <laughs> if you're gonna... I know people get mad for mentioning Grimrock and stuff like that sometimes, but... This... This looks just like one of the early Grimrock wall textures. And that those walls look exactly like the other Grimrock texture. The larger uh, bricks. Oh well. I mean, there's only so many ways to animate interiors of uh, rooms, but I do get it does feel like they did an especially good job at nailing the Grimrock look if they weren't doing it on purpose. Um, there's some kind of secret passage over here, interestingly enough. There's some kind of long hallway back here. That's the room where I fought the dragon, and back there is something else old entirely. Alright, so this all looped around. That's the previous floor. Let's see if I can find where else to go. I would like to fi to feel finished with this floor. There it is. I like to finish uh, feel finished with this floor before I move on to the next one. If I can avoid it. Was there a thing there? Nope. Not the moment. Lever. We're back on level three where there's no map, which is a scary thing for me because that means I'm back in the territory of. Uh, is this new or old? Hello. I haven't fought you yet. Oh, look! A map. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Boop. I got auto mapping for level 3 now. Even though I never found the actual map in the first place. But now I've got auto mapping for level 3. So that's cool. Huh. Level 3 looks complicated, frankly. Although it looks like I wasn't missing that much more. A lot of, lot of, lot of little pockets I didn't quite go to the runs, the ends of, I guess. Yeah, it looks like I fully explored most of it, except for the central area. Oh wait, that's the sniper room. Okay. Yeah, most of this area looks, looks, looks like I finished exploring it. Hey, buddy. I see you, and you don't seem to see me, which and you're low and you're low level, so this is going to be uh, a little easy. Let's, let's actually start with the mug attack for the right bonus. Stack all them sweet attacks. Uh, do a bleed attack at the end. Here we go. Hey, friend, how you doing? And kick. You don't get to use that attack yet. Whoop. Got to be faster than that. Come on, come on, boy. Pay attention. And whoop. Nice try. I can tell you're really putting your back into it. Oh, isn't he adorable? He thinks it's gonna work. He just keeps trying. I don't know what I'm, I'm healing, but no, no, there's nothing to heal yet. And whoop. Oh, I did not dodge that one in time. It happened. I finally messed up. Alright. It's funny how unintimidating this guy is after the dragon fight. <laughs> and kick. Let's throw, throw some attacks around, taunt him because he just switched targets, which I don't appreciate, frankly. Did I not taunt him correctly? I did not. Oh well. I can still just keep dodging his primary source of damage. He's down. And he dropped... This... Finer Silver Trinket of the Sun. Which I can give to people, in general. Um... Ba -ba -ba. Awareness, stamina, and haste. Who is that good for? Might not be an upgrade. Yeah, I don't know if this is a... I don't know if I'd count that as an upgrade for any of them. It's pretty close for some of them. But not quite. These don't look like they go anywhere. I found the map for this floor. I think we're good to go. Interesting, so this was new. I was actually about to turn around and go back. So I became convinced that this was all not new. Where does this connect to? Oh! I have the auto map, but I don't have the regular map. Which means- oh, here's one of those doors I couldn't open before. So that means I can keep- oh, I'm back on level 2 now. That's even more confusing. Alright. 
So does this even have a direct connection to the... to floor three? Or do I have to take the alternate path? Because this is the map room, right? So it's a dead end. Okay. So I would have to come back to this floor and go re-exploring to fill in any of the missing chunks. There are more missing chunks than I originally would have wanted to, st uh, would have hoped for. But I can't go this way. I think I'd rather finish floor four at the moment. So let's head on back. There we go. Floor four. All right. Let's try to figure out what we're missing around here. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, guys. So thanks for watching, like always. Oopsie. I'll see you next time. I'm going to hang out in this dragon room. And uh, next episode, I'm going to try to figure out if I can get into whatever the hell's going on there. It looks like a crazy maze room, and there's like a long hallway here. And I also, I also, uh, I said, I think I said next episode, next session or whatever. I'll try to finish level floor, level four, and I might also go back to level three to recap what we missed, what we missed before I go up to level five. See you guys next time.